Hello everyone, this is Nikos Marcos and uh, today we're going to be looking about something that's very important. Okay, so I did a short video uh, during this week and talked about how important it is to make sure that um, you ask for the reviews. Okay, so reviews are very, very important when it comes to Amazon. Now, obviously, um, when I first started, as soon as you actually get your, um, your item, your, your private label item, you're thinking, what's the best thing I'm going to do? Well, the best thing I'm going to do is uh, <laughs> make sure that I hit reviews. Why is that? Because that's going to fix the rank for it. Now, the rank can be good for your item, yeah, but what will happen is you're not going to get the sales because you've not built that trust yet with the customer. So it's very, very important for you guys before you actually do anything, you get some reviews, okay? Maybe being your neighbors, maybe being family, you know, but people that have not been in the same address as, as you for yourselves. So really, I don't recommend uh, using and doing ads unless you actually get to three or four reviews from people that you actually know because otherwise you're just putting money down the drain you've not built that trust yet with the customer obviously you've got a brand new item if you've got four or five star reviews it will look really well uh, so therefore um, you do that, you got to the first three, four well after that you're thinking well at some point I need to be getting money in without actually costing me because obviously uh, the majority of the times is if I'm sending it to people I know, friends or like uh, influencers, let's say, um, what happens is you just give it for free so you lose that item. And uh, the other way is making sure that you actually use Helium 10 follow-up action. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that you can set it up to do certain follow-up actions. In fact, I've only recently set it up to do another follow-up action really for us. So really what happens, and I'll just show you what it looks like. Uh, it looks like this. So we've got, uh, this is the, um, the screen of what it looks like really for us with Helium 10 follow-up. You can see how we've requested two, two, two and a half a thousand reviews really pretty much. We've sold a total of 3,839 private level products and um, we've got received a total of 43 reviews. Now, those 43 reviews might seem minuscule, okay, but they make such a massive difference when it comes to actually selling your private label product, especially where there are reviews that 100% I wouldn't have actually received. Um, what happens is I've set it up and whenever, um, sorry, whenever uh, a customer receives an order after four, five or seven days, I think I've got it after seven days, um, Helium 10 sends them an automated email and said, can you leave a review for us? It makes sure that obviously it stays within the correct templates with Amazon. So you don't want to get any in trouble with them. Really, you don't want to be sending out emails to customers that basically say, leave a five star review. You're not allowed to do that. You ask them proactively to leave a review. Um, and the second follow up action that I've actually had set up this week is that as soon as that private label refund um, occurs, uh, I've got Helium 10 sending an email to the customer saying, is there anything we can do, anything we can help you with, in order to avoid that um, one-star review? Because I have had a product where, even though it still sells at the moment in time, um, unfortunately, I've received uh, numerous uh, bad, bad reviews with it, and uh, I've got a customer that I've actually even left a video with it too. So in order to avoid doing that, uh, that's what I've actually done. I'm making sure that as soon as uh, there's a trigger with an Amazon refund for uh, my item, and it's very easy because all I've done is basically I've filtered it according to uh, my private label brand. Uh, so therefore, as soon as that hits uh, the filter, um, we've got an automatic response being sent to it. I'll just have a quick look through and play around for you guys just to see what it looks like. So we've requested, as I said, 2,718 reviews. Uh, how many messages have been actually sent for whatever reasons? Um, really, and just you can set it up with email automations for us, and you can see here uh, what I've got is how many uh, automations you can actually start. So I've got a refunds, uh, request review. So these are the automations that I've actually got uh, really for us to begin with. So it says order refunded, uh, order placed. Okay, so after. Uh, certain days that's when I request the refund and so on uh, you've got email templates which you can create for yourselves and okay obviously what you're going to be doing is you're going to be actually going to chat GTP and uh, setting and creating nice email templates for yourself because that's so easy obviously Helium 10 has got uh, templates there for us and uh, just something to actually keep into account is uh, you can actually set it in such a way that um, you automatically, and I'll make sure I have a screenshot here for yourselves. Obviously, um, it's quite a weird territory here for us because, like, 
ASIN's uh, private label stuff can actually be showed up, really. Uh, I'll just have a quick look. Um, you can set in such a way where uh, you've got, um, think of words, tags. So really, you can say, well, thank you so much for ordering this product automatically. And what happens is Helium 10 picks it up and sends it exactly for that product. So um, almost like personalize the experience for the user. And uh, yeah, just making sure that you give the blah, 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 the spiel that you are a small company um, that's actually growing and so on. So um, I think it's very, very vitally important that you actually do have those follow-up uh, emails for us. And if I go on my email templates, let's have a look. Email templates, I just want to see. Um, so new email template, uh, editor, and let's have a look. So we're going to go for, let's go for this. So we're going to go for um, this guy here. So um, Turbo Man, I used to sell them ages ago. So subject line will be, um, could be anything you want it to be, really. Let's have a look. Like, um, thank you for your order. Obviously, all ale um, and different things for us. And then it's so important that what this is what I'm talking about, tags. Thank you for your order of, and then you're going to put insert tag. Yeah, and you're going to put all these. These are so important. You can actually put link to the feedback. You can have order ID. Uh, you can say uh, product name of, if I put product name, you can see how it automatically pops it up with Funko Action Figure Jingle for Turbo Man. If I put um, and just tag short name, you could actually have a short name for it, uh, and that'll pop up there too. Jingle all the way, that's going there, Funko, I want to get rid of that. So as soon as you get rid of the tag, that goes away. Um, I wanted order ID, so the order ID can pop out there. Purchase date, so you can say thank you for your order when you purchase at this time. Feedback, link to the feedback, so leave the feedback here for us. A very, very important. Leave a product review, even more important really, um, for us, because obviously you can leave feedback as yourself, as a seller, but also as a product review. So again, if you're still starting with Amazon and you want to create more reviews for yourself, that's another way of doing it. Um, I think it's very, very important uh, when you're doing that. So again, similar way that when you actually get uh, a trigger for a refund i've actually set it up like as soon as a refund goes through and then i'll actually say by the way thank you very much for this order of this item is there anything we can actually do we apologize for the inconvenience caused um uh, for us but yeah i mean i hope you've enjoyed this um i just thought a brief and concise in regards to something you could be using extra in helium 10 and if anyone's interested into getting into private label and starting is this the best time to do it because really ideally you should actually have at least one established product for q4 um and when i'm talking about established i'm talking about a product that's got five six seven reviews really um and if you're interested with that i've got the link below in the description we can actually get helium 10 um if you want you can complete the form and sign up um for a helium 10 mentorship course with me uh, or if you wanted to you could simply just uh, book a session with us but yeah um the link below will also give you 20 percent off uh, for helium 10 and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this camera surprisingly uh, I'm recording this with my new um, iPhone, and from what I can look on OBS, the quality the quality already looks better than the Sony ZV-10, so, which is mad, really. I hope it actually comes out just as good as it looks at OBS. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone, and uh, yeah, let's get at it.